What's up everyone? It's Joel from the Fun Pimps, aka Mad Mole from the forums. This is an editor view of a new POI our new level designer is building. It's uh, some kind of utility plant from what I can see. Yeah, it's got lots of pipes and some cool architecture and he's taking advantage of that little corner shape I made for that trailer a couple weeks ago. So I'll give you guys a tour here. This is nearly my first look at it, so I don't know much about it more than you guys. These are the new railings I made, which will be, I'll show in detail later in the video. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I won't show you everything because, you know, you guys need to have some fun exploring it yourself. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at it and let you know what we're doing. So here I took the catwalks I made last week and was just messing around with them and decided Hey, why can't we build tree houses? So we worked on the trees a little bit, and now they allow you to attach stuff to them. And as you can see here, I built myself a pretty cool tree house. Here we are up in my tree house. I always liked tree houses. Had one when I was a kid. A lot of fun up in the tree house. <laughs> So anyway, you can make a little sniper's nest up here and kind of hide from other players. Maybe be a good sniping point if you build it up high enough and in the, in the leaves. I don't think anybody would even know you're up there. So I think this is going to be pretty cool and add something to PvP. And, you know, I don't know of any other game that lets you, other than Minecraft maybe, that lets you build up in the trees. So this is something cool. Excited about it. Okay, this is the drawbridge, or a single version of it. We're going to have a double drawbridge also, where the two pieces, um, you know, meet in the center. This is the kind where it would just cross over, you know, a ravine or a trench or whatever that you've built. And, uh, you know, sorry I didn't stage it better. There's still some issues with placing it and whatnot, so... I'm just going to give you the basic demo of the model and show you that it works at least. Okay, so. And there you have it. This would look great on the front of a castle or a fort. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there's still a few bugs with it, but. Hey, it's work in progress. It's going to be totally badass when it's done. I love this thing. It's going to be a great addition to the game. So this week, I worked on metal catwalks. As you know, last week, I did the wooden ones. And this week, I worked on metal catwalks. And here's the staircase. Now, what's cool about these is, if you aim down right here, it... Um, Let's you place the next one so you can just walk up these stairs and you know build your staircase without having to come over here and rotate it and all that jazz. And there's this piece here. Sorry, that sound effect's still hooked up. We're only putting that in when you upgrade the the block. So I went back to the old block placement sound. And then when you upgrade this, it'll play that software sound. But it's still coded in on these. We gotta fix that. And then let's see. So it's got the catwalk. 
railings, which you can use instead. And they're dynamic just like the wooden ones, so if I make this too wide, it deletes the railing in the middle. Pretty slick. We're making fire escapes and all kinds of cool stuff with these. We're putting them in all the industrial utility prefabs. They're going to be a nice addition to the game. Pretty excited about it. And we've got the regular railings, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Last but not least is the vending machine. Now these are going to be a player craftable item, and you might find them in POIs and whatnot. Um, this model is not not done. This is just the old beer cooler model um, as a placeholder. But I drew up a concept art on and put it on the. Uh, the blog so you guys kind of know what it's going to look like when it's finished but I'm going to show you how it works so you go up to you you, you craft it you, you place it and then you can add stuff to it so say I want to sell my vegetable stew I click on the quantity you can see here the total amount or value being added and add so now I've got this for sale and let's say uh, I'm gonna sell my goldenrod tea. I love my tea, but you know, I need the money, so so sell those. Now we'll come back as another player here in a second and buy from there. So here's another guy. He comes up. Now what do we got here? Mad Mall's Precious Goldenrod Tea. Limited time offer. Boy, I better buy some of that. What do we got here? So, we've got Goldenrod Tea. I want to buy two of those. And as I, and three. As I adjust the quantity, you can see the, the amount of the transaction going up. So it's going to cost me 102 Dukes to buy that. All right. And let's buy some stew. Boom. That's it. We fixed word wrap on signs, so if you type in, you know, whatever you want on there, it just kind of extends down to the next line. The texture and the signboard still aren't done. I'm, I want to model those and, you know, make them bigger and, and better. But that's a little better than it was last week, so. Oh, one last thing. Oops. Put the block place sound back. And then when you upgrade it, plays that sound. Anyhow, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video and stick around for Q&A where I answer forum questions and um, remember to like my video and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Q&A time. Light Gemini asked, how is NPC AI doing? Any demo of it in the video would be welcome, even if it is very basic. We know AI does, just doesn't pop into existence that easy. Um, the AI is coming along. Um, it's nothing we really want to show yet, but you know, it's something you know that we're working on. And as soon as I have something cool to show, you guys are going to be the first to see it. This next question is vending machine. Its feature of responding to an aggression is a new feature no blocks had before. Are you planning in adding new active defense traps or devices using this new block feature? Uh, yeah, it's basically we're going to uh, make it so it'll be a generic block feature so when you attack a block that block is going to deal damage back and we think this is going to be a pretty cool PvP mechanic 
and a, a general improvement to um, you know traps in general or something we're going to take advantage of for some new traps. So you know anytime we code a feature we like to maximize it or you know make sure it's not a one-off kind of feature that just is only good for one thing but yeah we're planning on using this for a bunch of new traps. Will the trader get mad if I make oh for fuck's sake you Hey. I'm recording, damn it. Everybody keep walking in on me. I'm trying to record. That's fine. Santa Claus is supposed to be here. I guess I'm seven minutes early. Uh, I know. It's just uh, shit. Man. I've been up since nine trying to make a video. Yay. Yeah. And there's bugs left and right. What the heck? I think I know. Maybe I'm still recording. Great. <laughs> of it wants to know. Will the trader get mad if I make a wall around his compound and have him stuck in my base? Um, not currently, but I think we can put that together. Maybe before Alpha 15 comes out, we'll see. He'll probably have his own land claim and if you, you know, mess with his, do, try to do anything within his land claim, you know, you either won't be allowed to do it or, you know, he'll provoke him. Scary Yapper says, Will Alpha 15 have any adjustments or refinements to the new system of perk skills introduced in 14? In particular, will combat leveling skill be increased, mining construction be reduced, and will there be any skill perk added to or subtracted from the current list? Um, yeah, we're, bal we're always balancing everything, so expect to see some changes and all that. Definitely, uh, you know, we crafting is it's too fast and you know combat isn't fast enough so yeah we're working on that i can't even pronounce this guy's name more pois and a faction system were announced as goals for alpha 15. Uh, maybe mad mole can show some of that yeah i already uh i guess in this video i showed you know kind of a new uh, utility building that we're uh just got done so or it's being worked on anyway it's it's close to being finished. Uh, TSBX wants to know, will the AI for bandits have any effect on the current zombie animal AI? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, they will definitely, you know, attack zombies when they see them and they might even hunt. I mean, it just all depends on how we define their priorities in the, in the XML, but I'm pretty sure they're going to probably Hunt, so I don't know. Maybe they won't hunt. We'll have to see what kind of effect that has. Roland, I'd like to see you take on a screamer horde. Let her scream a few times before killing her. Wait, I just remembered your dog horde video. I'd like to see you take on a dozen screamers. <laughs> I might be able to do that if we get enough likes on this video. <laughs> All right. Gippo the Jip wants to know. I'd really love to see some NPCs in action. We've seen some basic stuff like the bandit standing around and a little bit of trading as well as the trader fending off a zombie, but I'd like to see some more. Well, so would I. Um, as soon as we get something a little more evolved, I'll definitely be showing some video of that. And this guy wants to know, will cobblestone get a buff or still be as bad as they are now? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they're pretty balanced. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I guess we can look at that. So far, they haven't had a buff, but I guess for the cost and, and the, the knowledge tier that you need to make cobblestone, I think they're fair. You know, if you want something better, why don't you build with concrete? Uh, let's see. Razor wants to know, will we be able to turn off the placement construction sound effects? That even got annoying by watching the video. Oh, uh, yeah, everything's in the XML. If you don't like it, you can change it. But I think we've improved it and it'll be something you actually enjoy when we're done. How is the new spawning system coming along? 69 with a zombie wants to know. Um, I We haven't really worked on that, but we're gearing up to. Um, it might not make it into 15. Just all depends on the timing and how long it takes. But um, I actually uh, did a little bit of... I did a cool animation where the zombies now spawn in a sleeper pose and they get up, which I'll probably show today if I remember to. I'm doing the Q&A first. 
and then I'll shoot video a second. Uh, are the snakes and new bears making it in? I don't know yet. Um, the bear is rigged. We're trying to bring him in as a UMA bear, which will let us, you know, do variants a lot easier. If we want to do saddle bags and tameable bears, yes, then we want to use an UMA to do that because it's that that system has the infrastructure to change their eye color, give them a big head and a small body, so it can be a cub bear that grows. It allows it allows us to do all that cool stuff, and you know we've hit a few snags trying to do it, but we're not going to give up. We're going to keep investigating that and trying to get it working. So once we get that first one in, we want to use wolves in the same system, et cetera, et cetera. The snake is done. It just needs to be rigged and, and um, animated and then added. Hopefully that makes it in too. I don't see any reason why we can't get the snake in for sure. Hopefully bears too. And the, the wolf is, the model's about done, so it's coming along too. Odetta wants to know, will there be trader exclusive items or blueprints? and books um that's a good question you know we haven't really done that but it sounds like a great idea uh we just have to figure out what those items would be and add them to, the, to his loot list like a rare book letting you craft a new trap or a rare sweater in case that increases your agility yeah that's that's a possibility rare seeds exactly yeah um we need to we need to kind of flesh out the traders lists and stuff. I mean we've got they're in there they're working but we really haven't sat there and tested and played it and scrutinized it yet. So we're getting to that stage though pretty soon. So I this is a good idea and I would like to see that. Yeah. So yes. Will water be getting another pass? It's very wonky right now, going through blocks, deleting blocks, collapsing, doesn't flow correctly, etc. Yeah, we're talking about you know kind of a water 3.0. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too timely to redo it, but you know, kind of after you you do something once, you learn a lot along the way, and then it's like, well, I've got too much time in this, so let's just get this out there. It's better than what we had, but it's not perfect. Then you can kind of like sit back and reflect on it, and often figure out a, a way better way to do it. So we're we're kind of in that phase right now where we're talking about it, and there might be a water 3.0 coming. Extra Kicking wants to know, how will POIs controlled by NPCs work? Um, not sure what you mean by work. Basically, they're going to live there, and if you mess with their stuff, they're going to get pissed and attack you. I imagine, you know, we're, we're putting together um, a new kind of AI system where we can define like these packages. A package could be like, hey, I'm sleeping in my bed. I'm using this crafting table. I'm running a hoe um, in my farm field, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And basically we'll be able to put schedules together and these NPCs will, will, will do whatever's on their list. So from noon to five, I'm working in the field, you know, from five to six, I'm going to sit at my table and eat from, you know, seven to 10, I'm going to, you know, sharpen my swords and whatnot. And, you know, then I'm going to read by the fire, or whatever, you know, and then I'm going to go to bed Then I'm going to get up in the morning and do my job, whatever that, whatever, whatever we give them to do on any given day. And then when they have a quest, it could override that, you know, it's, it's going to be a pretty flexible system. And even their combat is going to be kind of moved into this new system that we're writing. That's just a lot more flexible and a lot more powerful and we'll have interactive animations supported and all kinds of good stuff. So Crymez wants to know in the last video, you mentioned you did optimizations to the performance. Any chance you can go into detail? A bit of what changed also how much of an increase can we expect um, the big thing we did was we crunched all the textures it's kind of a it's a compression setting for textures and it reduced a lot of memory um, you know I've been doing a lot of cleanup I did I also did uh, 
recently I noticed that we had uh, two different atlases. Um, one was called Cutout Movable and the other was um, for grass. And they basically look like the same thing. I mean, except um, I think one of them, you know, they, have, they both had movement shaders for the wind. So it's like, why do we have two? Each, each, you know, each one creates an extra draw call. And as we all, anybody knows anything about video games, draw calls slow your game down. The less draw calls, the faster it runs. So this was a pretty good little change. So we moved, I moved everything over to the grass atlas and we deleted the cutout movable atlas. And now everything is one less draw call you know, these chunks that had, that would have had shared, you know, it's like the corn, for example, was on the, the cutout movable and I moved it over to grass. So anytime you had grass and corn before on the same area, it was two chunks or two draw calls. I mean, and now it's just one draw call. So it just runs better. And the second question, people on the server, I play on, keep talking about alpha 15 and if it will need a reset and you're worried about the creator QI, will it regenerate? And explore chunks. Um, no, anytime we add new content, you're going to need a new save game. Um, but you know, it, it's still compatible. So, I mean, it'll, it'll work, but you're not going to see, I mean, it depends how we put the traders in. If they're just little traveling guys who walk down the road, then yeah, they might appear in your old game, but you know, why not start a new game? I mean, yeah, you got time invested, but half the fun is, is starting a new game and having that challenge and playing it with all the rebalance work that we've done you know it just makes for a whole new experience so i would suggest starting always starting a new game on any major uh alpha update increased but you know hey you know play it how you want to play it that's the fun of this games you know as you can you can go where you want do what you want do it on your own terms and if you want to stay in your old game we're going to support that or at least I was told we were going to support it, but if we don't, hey, don't come to my house and cry about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We did the best we could kind of thing. Anyway, moving on. Ronan wants to know, is the Horde Night lag choppy frame rate going to be fixed for Alpha 15? Hmm. I don't have any lag. Maybe you need to buy a new computer. I don't know. Maybe you're spawning too many guys. I see all this stuff all the time. Man, my game runs like crap. I don't know why it runs like crap. Maybe you're messing with modding it out. You're changing stuff. You got 50 players on the server. We only support eight players. But, you know, we are looking at that. I'm not trying to be a dick here, but we're, we're looking at, we're looking at and improving it. A lot of the, you know, the CPU cost goes to the controller. And we're looking at writing our own uh, custom character controller that's a lot cheaper. It doesn't have all the junk we don't need that slows the game down. So yeah, hopefully, but you know, for 15, probably not. It's gonna be, if it's laggy and choppy and horrible, or whatever, it's gonna be the same. Might be a little better because we've done some optimizations, but I don't know if I'd expect it to like be better if you know you're running on a potato. Your potato is gonna get potato frame rate. So, Badass Killer wants to know, thank you for your awesome videos, Mad Mole. I'm glad you guys like it. Here are some questions. What is the state of electricity? Are we going to get generators, lamps, and electricity powered vehicles? Um, we're going to get electricity. We're, we're, we're getting close to it. I mean, we're, we're talking about it. We're, we've got some designs written down and, and we're getting to that point where Guys are getting freed up and it's going to happen pretty soon. It may not be 15, but Alpha 16, I'd lay money on it that it's going to be in Alpha 16. Electric powered vehicles? No, that's what gas is for. Is there any new vehicle plan on short term or are there any kind of end goal before release? Uh, we're going to have some new vehicles coming out. I'm not going to really talk about them yet until they're actually in and working because I don't want to say, hey, you're getting a spaceship until I can actually fly that spaceship to the moon and back. You're not getting, I'm not going to say you're getting a spaceship. That's just a hypothetical thing. No, we're not adding spaceships, but we are, we do want to add several new vehicles and until they're in and working though, I don't really want to promise stuff we, we can't do yet. So will bandits be able to use them as well? 
as it was planned. It, that was never planned. That was uh, me dreaming about stuff. I dream all the time in the forums. I like dream build with you guys. I go in there and go, hey, wouldn't it be freaking cool if we could like have bandits riding in four by four trucks with mini guns mounted in the back? Yes. I mean, that's my dream game. But what I dream of and what our guys can actually implement in a bug free, reasonable time frame are two different things. So, you know, I'd like to see that, yes, but is it coming? I can't say until we actually get a little further. Okay, next question. For now, all end base look kind of the same plain reinforced concrete. We'll be able to customize your external look. No, like paint. No, sorry. Um, we're talking about, we've been talking about it for years, whether it happens or not, is a way to paint the inside of your house. Like say, okay, you've got this, you, you could be able to paint it, paint it with like several colors on the drywall or paint the wood or tint the color paint maybe, but no, I don't know if we can pull that off. Yeah, I'd love to see it, but reality is there's only so many of us and we've got a lot of unfinished things. So, you know, little cosmetic things like that might not happen. What we can do though is add catwalks and metal catwalks and more new shapes and more new stuff. And that's what I've been working on a lot. So, you know, all right. How do you test your Linux version? I don't have anything to do with Linux. I don't know. Our programmers do that. Do you have any plans to clean up the large units for gasoline and revert them back to a simpler, more realistic measure? Okay, meaning it's it's not a gallon, it's it's a unit. Think of it as an ounce. We changed it to that so that it could be more granular and it works across the board for the chainsaw, it works for you know, just it's you gotta think of it as this is an icon of a of gas. I mean how how are you gonna how are you gonna let the guy know he's got gas? Just because it looks so it's it's just an icon, it's not an actual gallon of gas, it's it's a container. And you got to think of how many ounces of, of fuel or how many milligrams or whatever unit you want to use are in that thing. So think of it as a game unit. And that's why we change it to that. It's way better. We're not going to just gallons and, and, and changing it back. So I like the way it is. That was my idea. If you don't like it, too bad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. I don't even... Solik Cassidy wants to know... <laughs> Will the bandits settle barricade in random houses too? You know, you guys are just so far ahead of us with these questions. I want to get them, you know, attacking me and, and challenging me and taking cover, you know, and then we'll worry about more about, you know, what these guys do. And that's all going to happen and come together. Like I said, when we put that package system together and the new AI structure, but you know, this is going to take a while. You guys, Alpha 15 is probably coming sooner than later. And by my soon and your soon are two different time frames. But, you know, I'm hoping maybe a month or so. We'll see. I'm not giving out any dates. But I'd like to see, you know, us be being very close in about a month. And these are just going to be simple, crude first versions. You know, they're not going to be polished. They're not going to be, you know, just doing awesome stuff like everybody wants them to do. But they'll they're going to work and they're not going to be too bad. That's kind of where I see them landing. So, you know, worrying about, they're just going to, you know, worrying about, you know, whether they can settle in a house and take over a place and all that. That's pretty advanced. So I don't think, no, we're not going to see that right away. Will they drive mini bikes? I don't know. Probably not. They're, you know, they're, they're going to be, I hate to say this, but they're going to be zombies with guns with, with some better AI and they're going to, and they're going to talk to you you know, and, and bark at you, they'll be pretty good. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't see them driving off on the mini bike right away though. Um, Emirat wants to know, I have a couple questions. Is it possible to put the sign into a storage box like the ammo storage? You mean in it? Yeah, you can store it. It's an item. You mean on it? Uh, if so, yeah, you can put it on, on the outer outside of the box. And I might even show that in the video because we did some Simon improvements yet. So we'll see. Uh, what happens when you put a platform next to a catwalk? Does the rail move at all? 
Um, you know, that it doesn't yet, but I was thinking about changing it so the catwalk would delete the rail also. I can do that. I just haven't done it yet. Um, I'd like to see some bandits. Yeah, everybody wants to see the bandits. Are you planning on developing a remote control for the garage? Yes, um, electricity in general is going to have remotes or basically levers that you can hook up. Can you show us the garage door upgrades? I don't know if it upgrades. I'll look at that. And if it does currently, I will show it. I don't know if it does though. I think he made it so that it could be, but I don't know if it's finished. Um, love the idea of regular videos. Yeah, I'm having fun doing this, guys. This is great. I'm glad you guys are tuning in and listening. I really appreciate it. And I think it's great, actually, because you guys get to see what we're doing. And, and it's just better. Uh, I would 100% like to see drawbridges in action. Okay, the drawbridge is, you know, it's coming. It's still got some bugs to solve. And, you know, I'm going to try and show it today. We'll see what happens. Has the team, Zombie Horde wants to know, has the team thought as to what electrical mechanisms will be implemented? I.e. push down or pull motion, swinging hinge, electromagnetic, recharge sockets for batteries, motion weight sensors to detect intruders, or will it simply be electricity to power lights and fridges? Well, you know, kind of how we, yeah, we, we'd like to do a lot of that stuff you mentioned. Um, we kind of develop in a way where we get the basics going and then we kind of you know expand upon that so first version is going to be powered lights maybe some powered doors and, and levers hopefully uh, we'll see but you know getting, getting the continuity and the basic system in so we have a way to route power from your generator to where you need the energy is is the, is the first step uh, it would be great to apply a pull push pull function for elevators, traps, doors that raise water for a pump. And wow, you guys are like, yeah, you guys are way out there. I mean, that's awesome stuff. We want to do a lot of that, but you know, like, like I said, the first version is going to be like the, like the AI for the, um, you know, the zombies, it's going to be, it's going to be functional. It's going to be pretty good, but it, will it do everything you've ever dreamed of? Probably not. You know, it's going to, it's going to take a few, iterations for us to get it 100%. The first version will be simple and then we'll make it better and better, kind of like we've done with a lot of stuff throughout the game. I mean, it's not going to suck though. The first version is going to be pretty good, bug-free hopefully and 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 very usable, but then we're just going to add more cool stuff on top of it. That's how we like to do things these days. Horde wants to know what are your list of priority for breadcrumbs, sleepers, drivable cars, electricity, traps, door blocks, new weapons, new zombies, new animals, farm, wow, okay. Um, all those things are, are, you know, a priority. I would say the top priority um, right now is, you know, get the, the traders done, um, get the banded AI to uh you know a first version that that we can sign off on and um you know the rest is kind of you know we've got farming we've improved it farm and we, we're, we're working on animals you know so i'm thinking uh, we're actually you know fixing some of the or doing the make improving the existing weapons a little bit at least the the appearance of them because we upgraded our shaders so we're giving everything a pass to look as best as it can with all the new shaders that we have. But um, we've got some, yeah, traps. Pretty much everything but cars, I would say, is all happening in 15 and 16. So it's definitely high priority. Zombie Horde, again. Okay, we're limiting you to one question, buddy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you please comment on what the radiation suit is for and when radioactivity will have a use apart from killing you? Uh, we're wanting to make radiation zones. And these zones are going to, you know, kind of be random, maybe not in average game, but in random gen, there'll be areas that are radiated and, you know, you'll basically start taking rad damage when you walk into them. 
maybe there will be a visual cue. I don't know. Hopefully we could have, yeah, some kind of smoke mist or different ground texture. Maybe everything's dead in these zones. We'll, we'll see. And anytime there's going to be a radiated zone, it will basically upgrade the enemies and upgrade the loot dynamically where this radiation happens. So you'll need a rad suit to go in there and not take a bunch of rad damage and get sick. And the monsters or whatever, the AIs, the mobs, they'll be, they'll be tougher and the rewards will be better. So anytime you see a radiated zone, you want to stay out of there until you're ready for it. Stompy NZ wants to know, I'd like to know if there are plans for the banded AI to have them work in groups and use team tactics like flanking or will they be limited to individual entities that act independently? Um, most likely the latter on the first version and future versions, hopefully they can work together in some way or capacity. I'd like to see how well your frame rate performs in the city in the next vid as that is where it is most on dude i have like a an amazing computer so it, it crashes anything so basically i can guarantee you it's getting 60 fps everywhere i don't have a 10 whatever that new the new in part is though i only have a 980 but i have a really nice computer mad mole says oh never mind <laughs> i'm just messing with you guys who is that handsome guy no i'm kidding Who's that ugly fuck? No, I'm kidding. All right, so moving on. Will the players lose reputation in PvP server? Because everybody will kill each other and the NPCs will dislike everyone. Um, yeah, we're, we're talking about that. I mean, basically, you'll definitely have a reputation with the traders. So, you know, if you start killing traders, you're going to get, you know, you're going to be hated. And we hope, you know, to have like a bounty board and then essentially okay you, you piss somebody off they can hire a bounty hunter to go kill you or you kill a trader you're going to automatically get a bounty hunter and then there'll be somebody's going to put up some caps or dukes or whatever you want to call it sorry dukes i play too much fallout they'll put up the dukes and basically say hey you know here's twenty thousand coin if you go kill this guy so if anybody who's who's pissed off the traders association or whatever we're going to call it they'll put up a reward and anybody who uh kills that guy can turn in the bounty and collect a reward did we change the forge um other than not that i know of other than bug fixes and you know maybe the particle effects aren't as expensive is a 15 plan for july um we don't give out release dates and when we do, it always backfires. So the release date is when it's done. I know that sucks, but that's the truth of it. Even if I want it to be out on a certain date, it doesn't happen because, you know, bugs come up and anyway, maybe, uh, maybe late July. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe in the, or the experimental version for sure. Hopefully, hopefully, but even that when it's done. When's it coming out? When it's done. Rez 11 or 1011 wants to know, is the player going gonna increase farther than 0.1 kilo? Because it killed PVP. I don't even know what you're talking about. Is what going to increase? I don't know. Um, ask your question like concise so I can answer it next time, please. Okay, moving on. The crater creator wants to know how do garage doors, draw bridges, and the like take damage? Just like any other block, they they take damage. Well, the entire yeah, it'll all be destroyed in once. Yep, yep. It's just a giant block. And so plus one for the question about painting. Yeah, we want to do painting, but I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things that always gets seems to get pushed back. It sucks, but. You know, as long as we don't have electricity and we don't have um, awesome AI, we don't have um, advanced traps, we don't have wolves in, you know, I'm going to say no to that. You know, it's just, it's not a matter that we don't want it. It's just a priority. We got to get, 
all the Kickstarter stuff done. We want to get like a cool story in. There's just a lot that is more important. But yeah, I hope so someday. Anyway, Magneto555. Thanks for the videos, Mad Mole. Thank you. It's uh, very interesting to know what's happening in the next version, but honestly, sometimes I'm unable to hear all you say. Uh-oh. Maybe I need to take the sock out of my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. Hopefully you guys can hear this. I don't know if a better micro or better bitrate. I'm recording at like 35k bitrate, so it's not that. And maybe it's my crappy Logitech webcam. I do have a snowball. I just need to hook it up and use it. I know that thing is awesome. But anyway, hopefully this works. Um, if not, you know, let me know. I guess I'll watch the video myself and make sure it's good. If not, I'm going to keep making changes until it is good. How's that sound? Will abusive chemicals from Fallout 3, such as Jet or Mentat, as an example, be found on bandits? Wanted to know by no way. I hope so. I think that's something that's really cool. You know, I don't... We, we probably won't have jet because, you know, it requires it to slow down, but I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting to see how that works in a multiplayer game. But, um, yeah, we, we definitely want to come up with some more chemicals and addictive compounds and, and improve the whole buff system so that we can have nasty addictions and all that kind of stuff yet. Zombie horde. There's just endless zombie hordes coming at me, just like in the game. What is planned for what alpha version? Uh, I don't know, dude. We're one alpha at a time. Is there a maximum alpha generation? No, there's no maximum. It'll be alpha 15, 16, alpha 58. I don't know. That's, that's the golden question. How many alphas? I'd like there to be more alphas than less alphas. To me, the more versions that go out, the better. It's just, you know... It'll, it makes the game better every time we do a major release. What will be in the DLCs? Just skins and fun stuff? I don't know. It's We're not talking about that right now. When will they come? Uh, probably when we're feature complete. At least beta, if not gold. I don't know. We're not in a hurry to do DLCs. Um, but we're, we're talking about them. At least for the PC ones, what they're going to be. I know, you know, we're doing DLCs on console, and but I'm not able to talk about those, so enough of that. Zombie Horde. Didn't I tell you there was only one question you asked? No, I'm kidding. Anything more solid on the Wolf Sidekick deal? Nothing solid. Um, we want to do it. I've got some concept art, and we're working on the Wolf right now. Um, what's agreed on is definitely a, a wolf that's going to have a zombie variant and um, we're trying to get them all going in UMA and if, if it works out it's going to be amazing. It's going to pave the way for uh, maybe tameable bears that you can put saddlebags on and use them to carry all your stuff around and whatnot. We'll see. Maybe even horses. I'd love to see horses but that's just me. I can't promise it. But one step at a time. If we get one UMA animal and the rest is cake. I can do it on my own practically. Anyway, uh, Ibane, Mad Mole, what are your thoughts on the Bandit AI so far? This seems to be a big challenge for open world games with large varied theaters for AI behavior. Any early impressions on how difficult it'll be? Oh, it's, it's going to be hard and it's going to take some time. Um, I think, you know, we've got some really good guys that are working hard on this and I think it's going to be cool but you know it's one of those things where you know it's it's a challenge in any game but it's even a greater challenge with our game because you know the dynamic world you know we don't have the luxury of a static world where you have a nav mesh and you can just get perfect pathing you know to work by tweaking the nav mesh and you know with a dynamic world where blocks are changing and they all have different shapes it, it's it's harder but you know we're going to do the best we can and I hope it I hope it comes out good. So the big C wants to know will signs once exported from into a prefab retain the text written on the sign? This could be really good for prefabbers if it can. <sighs> I don't know, but I'll ask and find out. All right. 
Uh, Xerxes Blue. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> nice avatar. It's creeping me out. All right. I have really wanted to see more of the wolf sidekick thing and also curious if there's been any headway or plans to make any other animals tameable. No, I mean, it's all it's all just waiting on the on the UMA bear. So, like I said, once we get that in, I think we can, you know, expand on this some more. I hope it happens. It's going to be cool if it does. I'm pushing for it. Pushing hard. All right, zombie horde again. This is the last question. Going on with this week's video sentence, does that mean you're planning on doing a video weekly? Yes, I'm here to stay. I'm here to, I mean, as long as I've got something to talk about, I hope to be doing videos from now on because I think it's great. I think you guys like it. It makes it, makes this, you know, I can be, seem like a dick on the forums. Maybe I seem like a dick just talking right now. I hope not, but I'm a, I, I like, I'm a fun guy. I like to have fun. And a lot of times I think when I type something, it, it, it sounds serious, but you know, I'm, I can't communicate a joke and with the tone of my voice, like I can talk. And so I hope that, hope you guys like this and I'm having fun doing it. So let's see what happens. You know, I'm planning on it. So on to recording video. So I am done with Q and A. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll be back.